Hello everybody, Future Artist1234 is back and I'm here with another how to edit like a boss tutorial and this time I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your clip and slow it down and I'm going to show you guys how to speed up or slow down the whole clip and parts of the clip and first off I'm going to do that by importing a clip let's just get a simple clip lol uh, let's see let me get one uh, let's see terminal I like terminal so I'm just going to pick that and actually, you know what? I'm gonna pick another uh, clip. Never mind. That clip isn't actually very good because half of it is you flashed. But anyways, uh, what I'm gonna do is just make a composition with that, and uh, maybe make it a little bigger size so I can uh, show you guys the slowing down of the clip. Make it maybe one minute, and make this a little bigger so you guys can see everything. All right. So what I'm gonna do first is show you guys how to speed up this clip from 33 seconds whatever about 33 seconds down to maybe like 15 or 20 and basically there are no plugins needed for this so what you're gonna do is either go up here layer time enable time remapping or um but you have to have the layer selected and or you're gonna right click on it time and then click time remapping <clears throat> and what this did was put two keyframes, one keyframe for the beginning of the video and one keyframe for the end. And depending on where you move it and how much you move it that direction, that's going to slow it down or speed it up little or a lot. So I'm going to slow it down to about 15 seconds by dragging this clip all the way to the end of it, all the way to 15. If you guys notice, there's going to be a big red screen after uh, where you sped it up. And how you're going to fix that is just go over here to the end of the frame length and it just drag it down to where the keyframe is and this is the same that goes with slowing down the clip let me just fix this up make it precise okay that's enough that's about precise actually and it's the same when you slow it down when you like go over here it's gonna be a black screen and what you're gonna do is just drag the frame length all the way to the keyframe but I'm gonna undo that so I can show you guys that this clip has indeed been uh, sped up. I'm gonna bring in the original one too, so I can guys I can show you guys. I'm gonna take the audio off of this because sped up, so the audio is pretty weird. I'm gonna render this clip out, and then I'm gonna compare it with the sped up one. All right, I speed up the I sped up the render because it was just taking a little bit too much time when you render it. So yeah, and. Sorry about the fan noise, my computer is getting a little hot when I render out and after the effects. And this is the normal clip. As you guys can see, it's normal speed. Everything's, everything's fine, normal speed. And then now, let's just watch it a little bit more. And then now I'm going to compare it to the slowed down version. And I'm going to do that by putting back the sound on here and putting this over here. And by the way, guys, if I haven't told you, if you uh, click triangle, it's going to take it away. And it's still going to be there if you uh, click it again. Just a little FYI. All right, so I'm going to render this again and take that out. All right, let's watch it now. And as you guys can see, it's going pretty fast and for way, way faster. I made it go from 33 seconds to about 15. And there you go guys, that's how you speed up the clip. And now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, slow it down. And that's just dragging it out and dragging out the keyframe and dragging out the layer length. Alright, now as you guys can see, the clip has been a bit slowed down. The sound has been slowed down too, the audio. And the clip's been a little bit slower. Almost half as fast as it was in the original clip. And now guys, um, I'm going to show you guys how to speed up or slow down specific parts of the video. Now, we're going to enable time remapping again. I'm going to highlight that layer. I'm going to go to time, enable time remapping. 
And then what I'm going to do is make it so that from the time of his death all the way to his revival, be really fast. Actually, up until he uh, uses his uh, tactical insert. And then from there, I want it to be slow from this shot to that. Sh after he shoots, uh, actually, after he dies, I'm going to slow it down. So, like, right here, let me find the spe specific part of, like, the exact part where he dies. So, right about here, I'm going to start get the beginning and the end of, a de on end of his death to make that slower. Actually, I'm going to get where he's, like, right here. I'm going to slow down from here. Okay, what I'm going to do here is slow down this where it's like five and a half seconds to make it go like two seconds and then I'm gonna get this uh, part where he's dead where he's dying which is almost a, like about a second and then make that uh, really really slow and I'm gonna actually gonna keep the current um, I'm gonna try and make it this part to be its original speed and how you do that is uh how you make it keep the original speed is by every time you change something, you uh, click pick every uh, keyframe after that too. So I highlighted every single keyframe after that, and I'm gonna make this go to about two, 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 two. Okay, two, two, two. Go over here, and now I'm gonna show you guys that this part has been really slow. I mean, really sped up, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do this after I show you guys that part. And as you guys can see, it was pretty fast up until it ended, and then it's going to go normal length. Because the only part that I squished was this, from the beginning up until this part. I only squished between those two parts, so those two are faster, and these other ones are normal length. And now I'm going to make his death be pretty slow, up until 15 seconds. So, I'm not going to worry about the first keyframe. I'm just going to move the second keyframe. And now this should be a pretty long death. And I'm going to I'm I'm assuming it's going to have some frame rate lag. Frame rate lag. Not frame rate lag, but you know, I I hope I can't really uh explain it, but it's like you'll see. All right, so let's watch that. That's sped up. That's normal. And now his death scene is going to be slow. And as you guys can see, there's a little bit of lag in the video. And I'm going to make it even more laggier by dragging out to like 20 seconds. I'm going to make it super laggy and render that again. Oh, and guys, I actually um, forgot to change the keyframe position of this. So the video, uh, the time from here to here is actually going to be faster because it's been a little squished too. But if you wanted to keep it the same length from here to here, you would have uh, changed the position of the keyframes after all the keyframes after the ones you changed, like I did with from here to here. But anyways, uh, let's watch that. That's normal, normal, and then bam. That is really laggy. And how you fix that? is right click on the video go to frame blending and then pixel motion but as you guys can see I'm gonna render that part out as you guys can see it looks like it did nothing but the reason for that is because the effect only shows up in the final render and not the previews unless you click this right here so I'm gonna click that and preview again alright as you guys can see it's looking pretty good now, but there's a little bit of warping, and that's because this, the clip has been really, really slowed down. And there's going to be more warping depending on how slow the clip has turned and how many frames per second it has. And, yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have, comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. See ya.